A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In this video, you will integrate Google Maps in your Apex application with the help of geocoding service. Google Maps platform is a set of APIs and SDKs that are managed from the Google Cloud Platform console. To get started with Google Maps platform you need to create a billing account, and obtain an API key. The map will be refreshed when you input an address and hit the Get button. When the button is clicked, the associated code sends a geocoding request, and pans the map to the geocoded location. Geocoding is the process of converting addresses into geographic coordinates, which you can use to place markers or position the map. Reverse geocoding, which we will cover further, is the process of converting geographic coordinates into a human-readable address. The Maps JavaScript API provides a geocoder class for geocoding and reverse geocoding dynamically from user input. Now let's get started. First, go to the Google Console website. The link is provided in the video description. Here you have to create a billing account to get the API key for this exercise. Under the navigation menu, click this billing option. Click the button Add Billing Account. Google will request your credit card information as a means of verifying your identity as a human user. If you opt to utilize a credit or debit card, no charges will be incurred unless you deliberately choose to upgrade to a premium account. Open your application. Click the button Create Page, to create a new page. Select Blank Page option. Set the following page creation attributes. Select this map icon for menu entry and click the button Create Page. Create a new static content type region. This region will hold Google Map along with a text field and a button created next. Enter this HTML code provided in the video description, which loads the Maps JavaScript API and lets you customize maps with your own content and imagery, for display on web pages and mobile devices. The Maps JavaScript API features four basic map types, road map, satellite, hybrid, and terrain, which you can modify using layers and styles, controls and events, and various services and libraries. To load the Maps JavaScript API, we use this script tag highlighted in the HTML code. This URL highlighted in the script tag is the location of a JavaScript file that loads all of the symbols and definitions you need for using the Maps JavaScript API. This script tag is required. The async attribute lets the browser render the rest of your website while the Maps JavaScript API loads. When the API is ready, it will call the function specified using the callback parameter. The key parameter contains your application's API key. Remember, that in the HTML code file provided in source code, you will see the text, put your API key here. You have to replace this text with the API key which you got after creating the billing account. Scroll down and enter this static ID, which is used as the ID for the region, using the substitution string region underscore static ID, which can be useful if developing custom JavaScript behavior for the region. 
If this is not defined, the region generates an internal ID. Create a new text field type page item. This item will be used as a search box and will receive the address you are searching for. This icon will be displayed inside of the item, not as part of the label. This placeholder attribute specifies a short hint that can be used to describe the expected value of a page item. Add the following button to get the desired map. The button triggers a dynamic action specified in the next step. Finally, add the following dynamic action on click event. This dynamic action triggers when you click the get button. Under the show node, set action to execute JavaScript code. and enter the code from the file named dynamic action. Accessing the geocoding service is asynchronous, since the Google Maps API needs to make a call to an external server. For that reason, you need to pass a callback method to execute upon completion of the request. This callback method processes the result. Note that the geocoder may return more than one result. You access the Google Maps API geocoding service within your code via the Google Maps geocoder constructor object. The geocoder geocode method, initiates a request to the geocoding service, passing it a geocoder request object literal containing the input terms and a callback method to execute upon receipt of the response. Replace this X symbol by your page number. Now run this page. Click this menu entry to access this page. In the address search box, enter McDonald's Leicester Square. And hit the Get button to see this address on the map. You can search a continent, country, state, and city as well on this map. You can even use this module to find the location of your favorite picnic point, etc. If you run this module on a mobile, it would look like this. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Keep in touch with Tech Mining to have more new videos like this. Thank you for watching.